Hey everyone, my name is Katie Rowe and I'm a wellness coordinator with TriHealth Corporate Health as well as a group fitness instructor. Today I want to show you the proper way to do a plank. Um, I will also show you some different modifications and progressions that you can do um, with a plank. Uh, and that way you have a couple of different options that will um, suit your um, your abilities and what works for your body. So we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so first I'm going to show you a standard full plank and talk through some of the things that you want to keep in mind while you're doing a plank. And then I will show you some different options um, that you can do depending on your level and what feels good for your body. Okay, so our standard plank, we're gonna place our hands on the floor about shoulder width apart. We're gonna bring our toes back behind us and keep our body in a nice long straight line, okay? Try not to hunch our shoulders up toward our ears but keeping them down away from our ears, almost like we're rolling our shoulders down. Um, now you'll notice that I'm not up here. If I push back on my hands, my hips go up into the air. So I wanna stay forward, shoulders right above the wrist, and keep my body in a nice tight straight line and pulling that belly button in toward the spine and engaging all the muscles in my body all right so that's the standard plank next i'm going to show you a, a modification that you can use if um, this is not quite where you are with your with your planks and there's a few different ways that you can modify this so first of all you can start on your knees so same position, basically, except instead of being on my toes, I'm dropping my knees down. One of the good ways to try getting into this position is to start up on the toes and then just dropping those knees to the ground. So same thing though, my shoulders are right above my wrist, still in that, um, that angle, keeping my body nice and straight, pulling my um, core, my belly button to the spine. Alrighty, so that is one option. Now another option that you can try is taking it to an elevated surface. So I've got a bench set up here, but you could use a chair, um, a couch perhaps, a table at home. Just make sure whatever you're using is stable. You can even use a wall um, if that is where your level is, and that's all good. Okay, so but here, since I'm elevating my, myself, this makes it a bit easier for me to hold a full plank. So this is another way that you can modify a plank or even a push-up um, to make it a bit easier, but keep the same um, the same movement or uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Stance. So same thing. My shoulders are right above um, my wrists. I'm pushed forward, not scooched back with my hips up in the air, and my um, core is nice and tight, pulling that belly button to the spine. So that's another way that you can modify the full plank. Now, some people also like to come down on their shoulders. Maybe you have um, some wrist issues. So another option, I'm gonna show it down here because it will hurt my <laughs> arms on there. So um, same thing, I'm gonna start with my elbows down on the ground. My elbow is gonna be lined up with my shoulder. And you'll see that I'm lower to the ground. Um, but same, same um, stance here. My body will be a little bit more in a straight line across. Um, than an angle just because I am lower to the ground in front. So that is also an option that you can take. Same thing, you can drop the knees to the ground as well. All right? So that's the plank. Now, there's other ways to progress the plank to make it more challenging or to add some movement into it. So one option that you can do is called a mountain climber. I'm gonna show it on the bench just so that you can see. So one way to kind of pick it up a bit and get a little bit of cardio action is to start in that plank position and bring the knees up toward the chest. Now the faster you go, the more cardiovascular it will be, the harder it will be. Um, so that's an option there for you as well. You can also do it on the ground, as I demonstrated before. Now one thing that I see with mountain climbers is that people will be in this movement, they'll kind of come back on their hips, and they'll be up like this doing the mountain climbers. So you really want to focus on keeping yourself pulled forward. And if you're having trouble 
with maintaining that straight body line, that's when you would want to come to an elevated surface to make it a little bit less challenging and work better for your body, okay? Um, so that's one way to do it. The other thing that I see with mountain climbers a lot um, is people taking their feet forward, um, which really you could do for a different purpose, um, but it makes it a little bit more challenging. And I would say, I would also say that it doesn't focus on the core the same way that the mountain climbers do. Um, other progressions, there's plank jacks, which is basically taking the feet out and in. Now with these, you really wanna make sure that those hips aren't bouncing a whole bunch because that will be hard on your lower back. So with the plank jacks, trying to keep a nice solid core as you hop those feet out. You can also step it out one at a time. So those are just a few ways that you can progress a plank. Um, and again, using an elevated surface is a great way to still maintain that correct form, um, but make it so that it works for your body. Thanks for joining me. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments or email us at virtualfitness at tryhealth.com. I'll see you next time.